This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Queries are questions that we're going to ask using the information in our access tables. So one of the things I want to clarify is that queries simply show you information from a related table. Now you can create new fields inside of queries, but basically they simply ask questions of the existing data housed inside of our existing tables. Let's go look at how you can use the query wizard to quickly and easily create any query you would like to. So what we have on the left are three tables that we've already created and what I'd like to do is ask a question about the employees. So what I need to do is create a query in order to ask that question. I'm going to go ahead and click on the create tab and inside of the create tab you have the section here or the grouping for queries and there are two ways to create a query. This time we'll do the wizard. Next time we'll come back into design view. You simply click on the query wizard and you tell it what type of query you'd like and we want a simple query wizard this time and we say OK. And then it opens up the simple query wizard and it first asks us well which table and by the way you can also query queries we don't currently have any so we'll only see a listing of our current tables but you'll see a listing of any table or any query you have in your database here in this drop down arrow. I do want the employees table Whatever table you've selected, the available fields are listed in this left column. Whatever you place on the right-hand side is what's actually going to be inside of your question or inside of your query. So let's look at how to move things back and forth. In this middle section, you have arrows that go to the left and to the right. And those arrows that are single will move one item at a time. So with first name highlighted, if I click that single arrow, I move just first name. The double arrows move everything. So if I click the double arrow, I'll move all of the remaining fields on the left-hand side. If you don't want those over there, then the left-hand arrows take them out. You can also double-click. So I'll double-click on employee ID, and I'll double-click on last name. I'll double-click on first name, and I'll double-click on state. So you can double-click as well. And the benefit of having the selected fields on the right-hand side separate from the available fields is you can choose which fields you would like and what order you would like them. And when I say what order, it simply means in our query, we'll have whatever you have on top here will be the first column in your query. We'll go on to next. And next says, what would you like to name this query? Many people use a naming convention where they say in the object name what it is, which is why this says employees query. For now, we'll go ahead and leave that. We won't make a change to that, but you could. You can just highlight in here and type anything you'd like to. And then you decide whether you'd like to open in design view so you can make changes to your query, or if you simply want to go look at the information. And for right now, we just want to go look. So we'll click on finish. And now we see our query is actually a Dynaset. The Dynaset is when you run the query or you have your answer in your query. It looks just like our table. It's in data sheet view, just like our table would be in data sheet view. Only now we have a query and the answer is the Dynaset. You'll notice that it looks very similar to our table because we haven't asked for specific information. We will do that. We'll do that in a different lesson though. What you'll need to know also about using the queries with the wizard is how to get into design view if you're already in the Dynaset. So you always have your home tab and on the home tab you always have the view button here to the left. You can drop that down and you can get into the design view of the query. And a query design view is pretty convenient. It has this section here at the top that allows you to see what table you're currently using. And I need to move this grid. The grid at the bottom, just where the break is, the line there, you get your two-headed arrow and drag it up. Now I can see this a little more effectively. The query grid gives you one column for each one of the fields in your question. And later we'll talk about how you can adjust and modify and make changes down here. For now I just want you to see that the query wizard quickly and easily creates a query for you without adding any criteria and we'll have to add the criteria later. And then in the design view I want to go back into the Dynaset or the answer 
then I have this new button, the red exclamation point. When I click on run, what I have done now is I have asked my table to, excuse me, I've asked my query to show me the information that's currently inside of my table, which is what queries do for you. They go get information from the requested location.